when you think about failure, understand that your failure is not really a failure because you can't fail at your destiny. You can't fail at your purpose. You can't fail at your dreams. What's up, family? Thank you for tuning in to the Dream Nation podcast. My name is Casanova. I'll be your host, and I'm excited to be bringing to you entrepreneurs, thought leaders, and trailblazers from around the world. Stay locked in with us because we're about to go on a journey that will change your life. Hey, what's up, family? Dream Nation, welcome back to the channel. I'm excited today to go over something that I'm hoping will allow you to have a bigger impact, not only on yourself, but have a bigger impact on your family, on your community, and really go out there and try to do what your calling is, what your purpose is, and that's hopefully to impact and change lives. I was doing a lot of research on why so many people don't succeed to the level that they could in life, and what I quickly, kept coming up with and kept finding through reading blogs and through emails that I've gotten and what was that common denominator and I'll tell you it is the fear of failure now the fear of failure is something that I think lives in all of us when you first thought about starting a business you probably thought man I could really succeed at that you probably thought something like you know what there's a lot of money in that hey there's a lot of impact in that man that can really help me grow my influence in this industry regardless if you want to start a business if you already have a business or if your business is just stagnant at a level i'm sure you can resonate with there is some type of a fear of failure so we're going to go over why a lot of people have a fear of failure what does it mean and how you can overcome fear of failure so the first thing is when someone comes to me, coaching client, if I'm talking to a friend, family member, whoever it is, and they tell me that they want to start a business or they have big goals and dreams and I ask them why have they not pursued it up until this point, they might be don't come out all the time and say, hey, I'm afraid of failing. And we all know that you can have either results or you can have excuses, but you cannot have both. So when it comes down to why most people, they decide that they're not gonna go after their dreams, it's because of that fear of failure. And what that fear of failure really is telling you is that you're not good enough. And if you think about it, that couldn't be further from the truth. You have to look at all of the things that you've already overcome in life. But at that moment, if you allow failure to keep you in a stagnant place, if you allow failure to not let you get out of your comfort zone, then that's telling yourself, hey, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough. And the reality of it is, is failure is only there to allow you to build character. The moment that you failed, you're gonna learn some things. And so here's something that I've learned through failure. There's three questions that I always ask myself whenever I have failure and I ask any of my friends, family, or coaching clients. Number one, what did you learn from the experience? That's a big powerful thing because we never take the time to recap, right? We only think that it's a loss, but if we look at it, again, think of people like Thomas Edison, right? Think of the great leaders, think of Michael Jordan, think of the late Kobe Bryant, think of all these people, they failed a lot of times. They took a lot of shots and it was misses. They played a lot of games and they had losses, but it allowed them to build character. Think about when you first come into the league, if you're an NBA player, and I always reference the NBA because I love it, but think of any sport. When you first come into the league, it's very hard for you to win a championship. It's very hard for you to play at a level to be an all pro. And this could be the same thing for acting. This could be the same thing for business. When you first get into that first year, your expectations are so high but it's very very hard to compete at a elite level so think about that even in their minds they are failing because you set out goals and expectations in the beginning and you might not reach those but the understand the thing to really think about and understand is after that year one or after this first try right what did I learn from this experience that's a big thing to ask yourself because as you write that down you're gonna say huh these are things that are all jogging in my memory and I learned this and I learned that, which is giving you more confidence, right? And it's gonna allow you to take more action. Number two, what did I gain from this experience? Because we always look at failures as negatives, but the reality of it is, is there's some positives in there as well. Let's take for example, if you were to start a business and all of a sudden that business fails. Well, out of that, what did I gain? You might've gained more relationships with bankers. You might know where to get the funding now. You might've learned a lot when it comes to marketing, right? And you might understand how to use funnels and websites. You might understand SEO. You might've learned about yourself as far as your leadership styles and your leadership abilities, 
All of these things are gains that you have and so you have to reflect on those things as well. What did I learn but what did I gain? What are the positives that I can take away from this? And the last one is what would I do differently next time? See, if you allow yourself to say, oh, I'm not gonna do that again, that's the wrong mentality because most of the time, the reason why you did it in the beginning is because you were trying to solve a problem, you saw that there was a need, and you also saw that you could add value. So the second time around, you can't allow yourself to say, I'm never gonna do that again, right? It's the same way as like a kid trying to learn how to walk, trying to learn how to ride a bike. They never say, I'm never gonna do that again. And if they do say that, you should be the first person to tell them, wait, wait, wait. We just gotta try it a different route. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Write those three questions down the next time that you're experiencing any type of failure. Think about, okay, first thing is what did I learn from this about myself? Did I learn about my team? Two, what did I gain from this? What can I take from this experience and also put it into the next thing? And three, what will I do differently next time? All of those things will then create the confidence in you. And what confidence leads to is action. And if you can have action, that will remove all of the doubt. So when you think about failure, understand that your failure is not really a failure because you can't fail at your destiny. You can't fail at your purpose. You can't fail at your dreams, right? You're not competing with anyone else. You're only competing with being a better version of yourself the next day. So those are all the things that I would encourage you to think about every time that you encounter some type of adversity or failure. There's a book that I always reference and I tell coaching clients about it all the time is the obstacle is the way, right? To get to something, most of the time you have to go through it. It doesn't matter what it is. To get to it, you have to go through it. So always think about what am I going to be different next time? But understand that everything that you want, and I do mean everything, everything that you want is on the other side of that fear of failure, that business, right? That relationship, that vacation. It doesn't matter what it is. You have to be willing to get uncomfortable to go after it. You have to be willing to be exposed to a new mindset, to new habits, to be able to conquer that failure and turn it into triumph. Right? Those are all the things that I always tell people because understand that your dreams and your goals are always meant to be in pursuit. If they're not in pursuit, that means that they're not big enough. When you think about, listen, I have a big, big, big dream. I have a big, big, big goal. You're always meant to be chasing those things because it's always going to make you build up your endurance. It's always going to make you build up your character. You can't come into the league the first year. This is the problem with like athletes. And we see this all the time that they experience. They get a lot of money up front. Well, what happens in that first one year, two years, three years, they blow a lot of money. Why? It's because they haven't built up the endurance and they haven't built up the character to know how to handle those things. But yet by year five, by year six, if you're still in, you're doing things a lot differently, right? You have to adult yourself, but at the same time, you have to go through it to get to it. So the next time that you are thinking about failure, you're thinking about why you can't do something, I would encourage you to look at, hey, what is the worst that could happen? right? Think about this. What's the worst that could happen? Most of the time, it's not going to result in death. I hope not, at least. So if it doesn't result in that, you have to ask yourself, okay, even if that worst that could happen, can I bounce back from it? 99% of the time, that answer is yes. 99% of the time. Your ego might be hurt. Your pride might be hurt, but you absolutely can bounce back from it. So then you start to think, okay, well, what's going to allow me to become the best version of myself. That means that I gotta get uncomfortable. I gotta do something that I've never done before because I need to experience something that I've never experienced before. And that means that I can't allow this failure, I can't allow this little voice inside of my mind to say, hey, you're not good enough because I am good enough. And so that's what I would encourage you. Leave a comment below. Let me know what do you do to conquer fear of failure. For me, I have many techniques and I've just told you all some of them. These are all the things that I do to be able to get that little voice inside of my head to just take one step forward. Because if I can take one step forward, now I can create some action and I can create some momentum. And that will remove all doubt. So again, in the dream we trust, this is Casanova signing out. Until the next time. Hey guys, thank you for sticking with me and watching this video. Now, if you've gotten any value out of this video, I want you to do me a favor. I need you to make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also turn on those bell notifications. 
What that's gonna do is it's gonna tell you whenever I drop more heat just like this video. And make sure that you hit that like button because that's gonna let the YouTube gods know that more people need to be seeing this video. I appreciate you watching and as a token of my appreciation, I dropped a couple more videos for you to take a look at in the meantime until I drop more heat. Remember, in the dream we trust, but you gotta take action. Otherwise, that dream that you have will only merely be a fantasy. I'll catch you on the next one.